Barima is a massive site. It is one of the biggest asset Boral got. Our yearly production in this kiln is 1.4 million tons and the cement production is almost 1.2 million. This site is running 24-7, producing clinker. It starts from incoming limestone all the way into raw materials, feed in the tower in the kiln, comes out as clinker at the other end and, and that's what the process is. So to get our reliability up there to 100%, we have a shut every January, which means pulling everything down, refurbishing everything and fixing everything that needs repairing. Our whole operation of the year depends upon this shutdown. Shutdown should go for around 21 to 24 days. And costs us approximately a million a day. As there is a lot of contractors on site, we make sure there is clear communication and major issues are fixed immediately. We can have anything from 300 to 500 contractors on site. So we've got a contractor village which we set up prior to the shutdown. We have a great span of ages from 70 plus down to 18 years old. One month before the shutdown, we have a safety day where all the key contractors are there. We review the previous shutdown. Our job is to make sure everyone stays safe. We do provide 24-7 shutdown support, and that includes on-call as well as on-site. You've got to have a good punch of people here, and we do that every year. It makes it all go a lot easier. Safety is the main factor that we've got to work to here at Berrimah. We have to keep an eye on our systems. We do safety walks on site to make sure everyone is compliant. We have the Stop the Drops campaign, so tool lanyards must be used when working from a height and chin straps on your hard hat as well. We've got confined spaces, which is in the majority of the areas. Probably over 100 confined spaces happening, so all you see is a door. And inside that door, you've got a heap of people working in there with hole watchers looking after their safety. People see all this noise and stuff going, they can't see any people, they're inside holes. <laughs> We first start with, of course, shutting down all of the equipment, then we need to cool down. And then we've got a make safe or a cleaning uh, cycle where we've got people with rope access that physically cleans everything and we wash down the towel. When it comes to a kiln, we open up the main doors. We've got a bridge that we put in to connect our burners platform with the rotating pipe, which is the kiln. And then we break out the coating. Once the coating is broken out, we do a drilling survey to see which bricks needs to be removed. Then we get in the demo crew again, we demo all the, the bricks and then we start packing the bricks back. Previously when we were lining the bricks in the kiln, they were using the jacks. Safety wise, there's a lot of hazards in that and it was a time taking process, but now we have the brick rig machine. And that helps us to close off the bricks at the top so that we can have a full circle. 15 years ago, the shutdown duration, maybe it was two months, but now we reduce it to 23 days. We're also working at heights in a lot of areas, a lot of scaffolds. We're actually replacing a roof of a cyclone. We've got a lifting plan, rigging plan to actually take it all out. We're also putting in a new multi-flex bin for the alternative fuel side. We actually use a 500 ton crane to do that lift. We've got a lot of buildings here that don't have access with lifts, so cranes play a vital role in lifting all our gear up to the high places. Up at the Ormans, for example, Access is owned by crane, top of the pre tower crane, top of the kiln, crane, 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 everywhere's a crane. On the mechanical and the electrical side, equipment gets opened up, inspections get done on the internals, and once there's a problem that we find, then of course we rectify the problem or we replace it. We have in the vicinity of 1,300 to 1,500 motors, isolators, 20 odd motor control centres that we have to do maintenance in for the whole shutdown. For the raw mills, what we do is once the cooling down is there again, we open up the doors. We get a vac truck to come and clean out all of the material that's the left in there, lift up all the rollers that's situated inside, then swing them out and then we weld the table. We then swing the new ones back in and then we close everything back up and back up and running. 
when the shutdown ends, the planning starts for the next one. In the planning phase, we do work with the site all year round. We do risk assessments to make sure the hazards are identified and controls are in place. There's no compromise when it comes to safety. That is the number one priority here. I don't care if a job takes twice as long, as long as people are safe. Working on the shutdown is an amazing opportunity. This is the backbone of the cement operation. Your shutdown is good, your operation will remain good for a whole year. You've got to work with a great bunch of guys. It makes the, the job go so well. I think we've got a good team at Berrima. We've got a lot of support from everybody in the business. Every year is different and you think you've seen everything? Never at all. There's always something new happening. Love it.